Welcome to BlueWaterHowTo.com. Today we're going to rig up a Spanish mackerel with a J hook. It's fall here in the panhandle and the fishing's starting to slow down a little bit offshore, but it's a good time to catch and rig up some baits for the spring. Okay, we've mixed up some uh, salt brine in ice water. We've got some mullet already in there. And we're gonna add in a few Spanish mackerel and get these nice and brined up so we can rig them for offshore trolling baits. Pretty straightforward. Just put that brine in there, ice it down real good, put your bait in it. So we've got this little mackerel here that I've had soaking in saltwater brine. I'm gonna go ahead and gut him. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to take his backbone out. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the knife and go in here and just cut through his backbone. Right there. Stick our finger in and just lift the end of that backbone up a little bit. That way we can get our deboning tool in. Get that right on the backbone there. Push right up the backbone, all the way down the back to the tail. You can feel the deboning tool in there. Crack the backbone there. I felt it crack. Pull the deboning tool out. Backbone should come with it, but it didn't. So I reach in and grab the backbone out. Okay. So now we're rigged up. Set up nicely there. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to get our hook. Going to run a nice J hook in here. With 200 pound monofilament leader. Got a rigging needle here. I'm gonna rig him so that this eye of the hook is right up in his mouth. You can see it there. I'm gonna run the mono right through. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this needle punch a hole through his head so that we can run the mono in. I'm gonna open up his mouth so we can see the mono thread right through the, the eye of the hook and then right out his jaw at the bottom. There we go. Got a crimp. I should have put this on before, but we can just run it from the far end.
Let that crimp nicely right in front of his nose there. A nice crimp in the front. Clip off this tag end. And now we're going to sew them up. I've got rigging floss here, so I'll get a nice piece of rigging floss. Oops. A piece of that. Rigging needle. Got a little clip at the end, sort of like an eye. The first thing we want to do is we want to close up his mouth. Because if we get water coming in that mouth, it's going to wash this bait out and he won't be any good. Oops. I tie an overhand knot with the double floss and then just pull that right on down. Beautiful. And, uh, just a straight overhand knot on the other side, double it up. Next thing we're going to do, another piece of this floss, we're going to sew the rest of the paint up. We want to close the gill plates together. second knot just to make sure it stays cinched up. And trim that off. Now we're going to sew up the belly cavity there. I'm going to go underneath the shank of the hook here to hold the hook up out of the bait a little bit. And then I'm going to come back down on the other side of the hook shank. 
Now back along behind the hook. back through the very same holes. Tighten this up. Caught that other line coming through there. Fix that. Same thing, because I've got this hook with an open eye in it, which maybe was a bad idea. I've got the hook back here. Let me go through one more time. tie the two ends back together. Again, just a straight overhand knot. Then I'll pull apart. It's kind of bloody, so the line is sticking together there. There we go. Nice rigged Spanish mackerel. That is going to troll beautifully. And we're going to catch ourselves a nice marlin or something on that. Until then, catch them up.